Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. It's me, Natalie Kate, and today we are going to learn about the parts of a plant and their functions. But before we go to our main topic, let us first discuss what is plant and its uses. Plant is a living thing that grows on mountains, valleys, deserts, and on fresh and salt water. Plants almost grow everywhere on the planet. Plants produce most of the world's oxygen, which humans and other animals need to be. There are many uses of plants. They are the main source of our food. Many medicines are also made from plants. And these plants are called medicinal plants. Plants are also used to make paper for writing and printing purposes. We also get rubber from rubber plants to make tires for many vehicles. And we erase pencil marks with the help of a rubber or eraser. We also get timber and firewood from trees and wood is essentially used to make different furniture. Another thing is we also get cotton from cotton plants which is used to make all types of cotton clothes such as bed sheets, towel, and others. There are also fibrinous plants for making ropes, bags, and others. Flowers of certain plants are also used to make perfume. Plants are also pollution removal. Plants and trees help us from air pollution because green plants take the carbon dioxide from the air in the process of photosynthesis and give back oxygen to the air for us to breathe. Thus, we give carbon dioxide to the plants and they return us oxygen. Hence, air is saved from being polluted by carbon dioxide. And the last one is that plants waste is used to make manure. This type of manure is used as a fertilizer for the growth of other plants and crops. Those are the uses of plants that help us in many ways in every walk of life. And now we go to our main topic, which is the part of the plant and their functions. I have here with me is a real plant. Plant has six parts. The first three parts helps plant to get water, make food, and grow. And these are the roots, stem, and leaves. And the second three parts helps plant to grow into a new plant. They are the flowers, fruits, and seeds. So let's start with the roots. Roots help anchor or hold plant in the soil. They absorb water and nutrients from the soil that is required for the growth of the plant. Roots are usually underground but can be above ground too. This is the stem. The stem is the stalk of the plant and it holds the plant up above the ground. They act as the delivery system of the plant because they carry water, nutrients, sugar, and starches throughout the plant. And the leaves. 
The leaves are on the end of the stem of the plant, where photosynthesis usually occurs and where they make most of their food. The green substance, chlorophyll, captures light energy and uses it to convert water and carbon dioxide into plant food and oxygen. The flowers. Flowers are the reproductive part of plant. It is usually the most colorful part of the plant. They come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. Often have showy petals and fragrances to attract pollinators such as birds, bees, and other insects. After getting pollinated, flowers can make seeds and fruit. And this is an example of a fruit. Fruits are the fleshy substance that usually surrounds the seeds. They protect the seeds and attract animals to eat them. And the last part of the plant is the seed. Seeds contain plant materials that can develop into another plant. The plant material is called an embryo. The seeds are covered with a protective seed coat. But, how does a seed grow into a new plant? Here's how it works. When animals eat fruit, they eat the seeds, and later the seeds leave the animal through its waste wherever the animal is. This is what we call dispersal. And another way is when Fruit falls from a tree and the fruit rot as the seeds fall out and make a new plant. Now you know about plants, its uses, parts, and functions. Please like, share my videos, and don't forget to subscribe.